as you know, we're always planning various contingencies. You know, I emphasized earlier this need to develop international consensus. 15% of the world's oil flows through the Strait of Hormuz. So we obviously need to make contingency plans should the situation deteriorate. We're back with a Fox News alert. Acting Secretary of Defense Patrick Shanahan preparing contingency plans in the Middle East after a Japanese oil tanker was attacked by Iran. And now military sources say Iran fired a surface-to-air missile at an American drone flying over the Gulf of Oman on Thursday and missed just hours before the attack on two oil tankers. So what should the United States' next move be? Daniel Hoffman, a Fox News contributor and former CIA station chief, joins us now. Daniel, uh, this is not your first rodeo. You've seen Iran act out like this before. What do you make of these provocations? Well, I think first there's just no question that uh, the impetus for Iran's aggressive behavior over the past six weeks or so has been the stinging effect of our maximum pressure economic sanctions, which have brought economy, the Iranian economy and their currency to a free fall. Iran has, has launched these uh, aggressive attacks on us uh, with increasingly less plausible deniability. They're trying to delay international reaction, but ultimately they're leaving really no doubt that Iran was responsible. So what's the play then? If they, they, to your point on economics, they've stopped releasing their inflation numbers internally because they're, they're likely so out of control. So they're hurting at home, lashing out abroad. What do they hope will come of this? Well, they, they've made it clear in the past that if their export of oil is being inhibited, then they wouldn't like for others to trade in oil as well. And so they are trying to drive up the price of oil. Now, that'll help their ally Russia, which is trading in oil and will reap more profits. Uh, and they're also, I think, trying to message the Europeans. You'll recall that, that a couple of months ago, Iran threatened Europe uh, and the rest of us that if that they didn't receive some redress for sanctions, that they would, um, that they would enrich their uranium to weapons-grade levels. And this is just a follow-on to that with kinetic action, I think, in the Gulf. They'd like to get back to negotiations on their terms. So they want, you, you believe they want back to the negotiation table because ultimately they want a relief of the sanctions. What does this administration do to avoid the pitfalls of what the Obama administration did in that realm? Right. Well, let's make it clear. What they want to do, the Iranians, is to go back to the flawed Iran nuclear yes. deal, which, which we don't want and for good reasons. And we've, we've highlighted that uh, repeatedly on this, on this network. Um, and, and I think what the United States has done, and rightly so, we've made it clear that we don't want war. And the best way to avoid it is to make it clear that if Iran launches an attack on us, that it will be regime suicide. So that's why we sent the USS Abraham Lincoln and B-52 bombers to the region. It's why we've announced that we have a plan to send 120,000 troops if needed. We're not interested in launching an attack, but we'll defend ourselves. There's also been discussion potentially of military escort for the tankers. Uh, one thing you might look for from our administration is maybe a more direct outline of what our rules of engagement are in the Strait of Hormuz and the Gulf writ large so that mm -hmm. Iran understands very clearly and the international community the response from the United States in the event of further kinetic action on their part. Daniel, very briefly, uh, what, we can't know what the next provocation may be, but what would a, resp a kinetic response look like? Uh, a U.S. kinetic response? could involve uh, targeting the Iranian Navy, the IRGC, in the Gulf directly. Mm -hmm. it, could be, it could involve targeting Iranian proxy militias if they are launching attacks against us. I think we'd be very careful about a flexible response yep. based on the nature of the attack. That Daniel. would be my supposition. Good stuff. Daniel Hoffman, thanks a lot. Appreciate your time. Thank you.